Good morning everybody. I just gone half past eight Saturday morning and I'm on my way to a little village called Mount Moreland which is uh, just a little bit inland from Mshloti. It's between Mshloti and Verlum. Um, I've got a guy that's called me about a, what he describes as a fairly large grey snake that's underneath um, a power tool that he's, he's got standing in his workshop. Um, he says he's got some birds there and he thinks that the snake has possibly come to try and eat the birds but hasn't been able to get into the into the bird cage. Um, yeah, and he describes it as being, you can't see the full snake because it's coiled underneath the machine but he says it looks quite thick and it's grey in colour so definitely sounds to me like a black mamba so I'm on my way there and I'm also waiting um, for another guy to get back to me in the Kwamashu area um, who says that they had a very large snake up in their roof at half past four this morning it was cruising across the roof and um, he says he's got uh, his ceiling boards are that sort of opaque PVC ceiling board so you could actually see the you know the snake through the ceiling board and he says it's very long and very thick <clears throat> so um, yeah he called me not so long ago and uh, he's just making his way home uh, he's gone out somewhere for the morning but he's gonna let me know when he gets home and perhaps we'll be going up into that ceiling to go and look for that mamba but for now let's get to Mount Moreland and see if this is going to be a mamba. See you guys there. Okay guys, so uh, this is the entrance to Mount Moreland. Mount Moreland is like a little village which is nestled away deep in between the middle of a sugarcane field, a big sugar sugarcane field. You can see it's completely surrounded by sugarcane. it is he said to me it's the first house on the left hand side do you see someone there oh, okay there we go well that's the first house on the left hand side okay so it's not that one it's this one this is just an old like a farmhouse shop <coughs> anyway Check this out. It may not be a, a black mamba, but uh, I think it is going to be. Okay, yeah, Wafi, you can film me. Now I've seen too many arrows and rock biting and things like that. No, but, uh, no. like normally I just chase them away, they run away. Yeah. But uh, this guy here is sitting inside of this thing. It's the first time I had one inside my kitchen, but he's there. 
Yeah, I think this guy's been living around here yeah. for a long time. Let's grab my sticks and a torch and a bag. Hey, come this side, Johnny, come. Hey, come on, get up, come on. Yeah. No, this guy's actually see this uh It's okay. Okay, it's good. Okay, hold it away from my face, please. Yeah. Look at the airplane. I just saw the airplane. <laughs> it's a car. It sounded like an airplane coming into the Yeah, you got everything from wooden boards to rock pipe and yeah. But there's a first time I've seen this guy uh, outside here. See, he lives in that area there. See the tree there? The dog's always there, so he's living around there. Hello. 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 Okay, I'm going to put you down in. Go into the kitchen with a black mom, but you can't come with me. Don't stand too close to the edge. Down the middle. Down the middle. Yeah, there's a mamba. Let's see what we don't want here. Even we get that time. Because I moved in here yeah. and we never unpack, so everything is just in box. Okay, no, I won't let him go there. Oh. So there he is guys, that's a mamba. A big guy, eh? He's a big snake, but yeah. he, he's pretty small for a mamba actually. But he's, yeah, he's big enough. Hey guy. Alright, so. He's obviously... Gotten in through these holes. Let's take all the shoes. Let's take this bird inside here. We're gonna have to find a way to get into this machine. Let's carry this and take it out there. Yeah, we can. We can do that. Yeah, but. Hopefully. Take off huh? to get to the snake. Uh, see, once you put him out, then you can maybe turn him around and he'll come out. Where can we carry this from? From the table? Yeah, from here. Some people will just jump out there. Eh? No, I don't think he would. Um, just be mindful. Yeah. Too much. Stay in there because he feels safe. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the back, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I see, it was going to the back. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Move. Hey, doggy. Come play, yeah? It's a, yeah. Hey. Come on, come on. It's inside there. Yeah. See on the top here there's only a blade, uh, the thing for a blade, but I can't take it out. Yeah. Oh, Big yeah. Alright, so what we got here is a a table saw uh, which the guys fitted a piece of wood on the top of so what we're gonna do is take this piece of wood off which will give us access to the the blade and I think there should be a little thing around the blade that can be removed and will give us a nice bit of space to to work 
because the snake isn't going to voluntarily just come out of here because he obviously feels safe in there. So we got to basically get to him. Okay. Still recording? Yeah. Sorry to do this. Sorry, mommy. Are tight. Yeah. <laughs> Those screws are tight. Very tight. I've got have I got bigger scoops now guys. I'll put it down. Let's give him the option to just come out. Mind your fingers. Okay, Bear in mind when he does come out, he's going to be in a bit of a rush to get away. So. <laughs> He saw me. He stuck his head out. Had a look at me and was like. looking that side. They decided to come out that side. Yeah, that's fine. He can come out wherever he wants to. There we go. Just don't move. And the moment he sticks his head out, if anyone moves, he's going to just pull back in. So we have to stand dead, dead still. Oh, the head is going on that side. Yeah. Just sit there. <coughs> There's something else I can prod him with because this is a bit. Mm, what do you need? Just something a bit thinner there. There. Where's Pap? Uh, I got this pipe over here. Can you stand up? Mind you? Yeah. Let's pass up here. Thanks. Stop. <coughs> Okay, everyone just stand still. Okay. There you come up the top. Yeah. He feels safe in there, so he doesn't want to come out. So what I'm trying to do is make him feel unsafe in there, so that he does come out. be happy when I get him out <laughs> with all this prodding and poking. He's biting there. Okay. He's attacking the pole. When he does yeah. come out. <laughs> and the way are you are gonna run. Okay, so there we have about a Two meter mamba, maybe just just over two meters. It's a female snake. Yeah, I told you they were breathing inside, yeah. Right under the chest. 
They fortunately don't move around in pairs or groups, they are solitary. The only time they will pair up is in the winter when it's their breeding season. Okay. Big black mouth. <laughs> and that's where the mamba gets its name from that jet black mouth. Here's the fangs in the front of the mouth, those little bulges of tissue just under the nostrils there. The fangs are hidden in those little fang sheaths. And that little tube in the bottom jaw is the snake's windpipe. If you can see that. Try to focus in there. Oh, Fang doesn't want to focus. Is the airplane? Yeah, we've got the King Shark uh, International Airport just behind Mount Moreland here. So that's where that aeroplane has just taken off from. Anyway, let's bag this car. been in there the whole night. No, I wasn't there the whole night. Yeah. Because snakes when usually we've got vibration they don't come out, isn't it? Yeah, and they also, same time, yeah. it's too early that he came in today. It's still too early, so I think he must have come in yesterday afternoon. Yeah. No man, maybe he's sleeping long time there. <laughs> he wasn't aware of he's it. He's not sleeping yeah. a long time at all. No, I don't think so. He would have been here a long time if he was there. No. Okay, stand out the way, Emily. Just in case the snake comes out of this bag. Rod, let's have to go to the... Quickly. I'll come like this. Okay. Lock everything up inside of there. We'll lock everything <laughs> many. <laughs> many. Many hundreds. No, I'll just go release him away from people and homes. And... No, he won't. I'll take him much too far. He won't know his way back. Alright. Here it is. And let's see if we're going to go on that other one before now. 